Hi, I'm Jane Davenport. I'm a mixed media artist and I've got like goodies galore that I want to share with you, that I want to show you. This is my new Making Faces collection. Actually, it's a, this is a, I've got a bit of all my favourite stuff on my table. Let me start with these beautiful swatches here. They look like magic. They are part of my Making Faces collection, which is all inspired by makeup. So the little palette pastels, that's what this is, opens like a little journal. So cute. The pastel inside is super finely ground so that it will stick like magic to most paper type surfaces. You don't need to use a pastel paper, which is scratchy and not very nice for art journals. They also nest. So I've got four different sets all nested here like this and then you can even use this as a little watercolour uh, mixing tray as well, a little palette if you're creating. And on my sets here, so I've got all 72 colours sitting there next to me. What I've written, I've written all of their names, it comes with a swatch card and I've written all of their names with my new Storytime paint pen. So this is the fine. And I'm just telling you this because earlier my favourite white paint pen was discontinued rather than cry about it. I thought, oh yeah, that's right. I design art supplies. <laughs> I can do my own. So I made um, with Spellbinders the most opaque, I don't know why I'm doing it on my hand again. I've been doing this all day, I forget. <laughs> I can use paper. Use the paper, Jane. Uh, this, I just love these paint pens. So this is Snow White. This is Evil Queen. So this is going to come in a set of four and then there's also the Wonderland set of colours in the Storytime paint pens. So we've got all these pretty colours which you can use with all of the other wee things. It's always good if you put the lid back on. With the palette uh, pastels, there's lots of different ways of applying them. So I'm just going to show you different ways. You can use your finger, it gets this sort of effect. You can also use the baton blenders or baton blenders. So you can be like a miniature majorette and twirl your baton. And this gives a different type of application. It's just a more intense way of doing the colour. Then I've also got the little blend-ins. So they look like makeup sponges, but they're all different densities. This is the hardest, this is the softest. They're different shapes, so you can shape the way you put the pastel. And this gives a different uh, look when you apply it as well. You can clean these. these one, this one needs a little bit of a clean now. But that's not going to stop me from using her. Just apply this so I can get a beautiful, soft, cloudy effect for a drop shadow. Or if I want to add some colour to the cheeks. I'm not sure if this is going to be clean enough, so I'm going to do a dry change. This is part of the collection, it's the little brush spa, and you can see I've been using her. I can use just these ridges, it's soft silicon, and I'm just knocking off enough of the colour so that I can just keep working with it without worrying about cleaning it. I'm just going to add a little kiss of colour, just a little soft kiss of extra colour there on her cheeks. Usually to get that kind of effect, you have to use oil paints, you have to really know what you're doing, but this just makes it so much easier. And because of the way these are made, the formula just makes it so much, um, just so soft to apply all the pretty colors. So this is one of the new paints. This is the Matchmaker paint. So it's like foundation. It's an acrylic paint. This is the face base. So it's a medium skin tone. And you can add the darkening and the lightening drops to it to mix any skin tone from beautiful darks through to beautiful light tones. You can use this to build uh, contours or shadows and highlights as well. Uh, but then you don't have to have a hundred different paints to build your skin tones because mixing skin tones can be a little bit difficult. Uh, but this just makes it so easy so you can have fun mixing whatever skin colour you like so that you can explore um, all of the creative options of human beings, which, you know, how good's that? I'm just adding a little bit of colour with my Batten Blender and I just wanted to show you how I can use the brushes just to soften 
the edges if I want to. I can also just erase this uh, with an eraser if I want to add a white highlight in the middle of those pastels. On her eyes, I've got some of my journal tattoos. Uh, so they are, I can't find them. Journal tattoos, I'll come back to them in a second. <laughs> but there's a sheet of false eyelashes, tiaras, crowns. Um, so this is all of these. So it's a whole sheet of, this is just so fun, false eyelashes and things that you can apply. Uh, I wish applying actual false eyelashes was that easy. <laughs> so they're the transfers there. Then we've also got um, the velvet pastels. This is the most beautiful way of doing lips. So it's like a little, kind of seems like it's gonna be like an acrylic paint, but it's actually a pastel in a gel formulation. It dries like an acrylic, totally matte and uh, waterproof, but it looks like a pastel. Uh, so it's just a whole new type of art product. Uh, so that comes in nine beautiful colours and I also love using this to make marks in the background. So it's got a little doe foot applicator just like a liquid lip or a lip gloss. And so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on here and here and then I don't have to get out a paintbrush. I can just instantly apply just some of my favourite colours, just like so. And then they feel so nice when you smudge them. So I'm going to smudge a few of these out. Just so I've got variety and different things happening in the background. This is one of the journal tattoos in the little crown. Uh, what else? What else? I have so many different things. These are a whole new pen set. These are the finishing line pens. They're archival, um, alcohol marker proof, waterproof, light fast, everything. Beautiful black. They've got the turquoise tips. So then when we add other sets, you'll be able to tell the difference. But I want to show you Miss Micro. Her nib is so tiny you can hardly see it. Looks like there's nothing even there. But look at the beautiful lines that she's going to create. So this is one of the thicker lines. So it just gives you variety. It's beautiful to draw with, to add tiny little lash lines. If someone's new to drawing, sometimes they feel a little bit timid and starting with a smaller, lighter pen can actually be a really nice starting point. So a lot of kids um, love to draw anime and cartoony because it's small and contained. So this is just another way of expanding that creativity. So there's micro brushes in there. There are chisel tips in here as well. So with a chisel tip, I get the variety of line as well, but rather the way I get the variety is I twist the pen. So I get more of a chunky angular line and there's three different widths in the chisel. In the brush, I'm just gonna grab one of the brushes. This is a flexible nib and there's different types of brush nibs in the set. And to get the variation, I move my hand up and down. I d increase and decrease the pressure. So it's a different way of drawing and I get a different type of line. So it's more variety. And then when you have all of these different types of lines, uh, it just makes your artwork look more complex, more easily. So you just look like a better artist without too much effort. It's just, it makes it easy and fun because I want art to be, I just want you to do more art. That would make me very happy. You will make Auntie Jane very happy. <laughs> um, the, I've shown you a little bit of the colour sticks, uh, but the colour, they're beautiful. They are light drawing with a lipstick. They're so soft and creamy. Uh, they're also water soluble. You can use them just to make marks. You can use it as a watercolour. I showed you it on the back of the um, palette pastel. You can just scribble it out and brush. Did I do that? I can't remember. We can just, uh, I just need to, oops, lift this up. So on the back here, you can see where I've started to do it already. I'm just going to scribble a little bit of the um, colour stick on there, grab one of my water brushes, just make sure she's clean. Just make a little bit of a watercolour there and I can use that just to add a little bit more colour 
and make a little instant soft watercolour. Um, and I love doing these bright coloured lines around the edges of my artwork. Uh, normally I'm trying to integrate the artwork into collage, but in this um, technique that I'm having just so much fun with, I love just adding a beautiful bright line just to make her really stand out rather than a, a drop shadow. And it, it seriously, it feels like I'm drawing with a lipstick. I remember drawing with my mum's lipstick when I was little, it was very naughty. It was her new YSL, red lipstick, and I still remember how much fun it was drawing with her lipsticks. So that is what these are like. And the last thing I'm going to show you, although it's not the last thing I have to show you, but before you, <laughs> you pass out, this is one of the shimmering pastels, but look, there's a mermaid tail in there. So that's the warm colours, that's Fishco Tech. And this is Make a Splash. So silver and the cool colours. So that's a cool pink and this is gold. And a warm pink. And these are pastels as well. So we can use them in addition to all of these gorgeous creatures. But I, this is what I put in my pencil case to um, when I go down to the beach to create. Because I've got all these colours. I just have a few little batten blenders. And I can add a little bit of soft cheeks cute little things to all of my artwork and I can get these beautiful subtle effects or I can glam it up and get bold effects as well. Thanks for watching this video that was filmed in Phoenix, Arizona at AFCI's 2019 Creativation event. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is a life handmade.